Hello tubers, I thought it's been a while since I've made a video on my Jeep, so I figured I'd make one right now to give you guys an update on what's going on with it. Well, the body started getting really rotted and filling a lot of the holes here and there, sanded it all down, put some poor 15 on it. I have to admit this shit's pretty heavy duty. Might go over it with a second coat. Um, yeah, I just painted over all the rust spots. I gotta put the new door on. Uh, I just recently put a class 3 hitch on it. I replaced, fixed the brackets on the bumper. They're 11 bucks a piece on Quadratech with brand new brackets. I was able to reuse the old bumper even though it was rear ended. I uh, had a bit mishap off roading it. Ripped off the end cap and the fender here, but whatever. It's all rotted behind there, but that's going to cover it, so I don't really care. <laughs> what else? It's also got two new tow hooks on it. I finally got tow hooks for it. I wouldn't get these again because you had to assemble them all myself. I had to put these on. The brackets just looked all half-assed. I didn't particularly care for them. So I certainly wouldn't buy them again. Still running good. But now, on another note, I don't drive this vehicle anymore. I recently ran into a, another car from my neighbor. My next door neighbor lives over there. His car just kind of conked out on him and didn't want to put the money into it, so said I could have it. So to get this damn car to turn on. There we go. Still running good. But anyways, stopped running, so I said I could have it. If I got it running, if I couldn't get it running, I could sell it and keep the money. So I said, what the hell? This car was starting to have its issues and I was tired of driving it because it's a fucking gas guzzler. All it does is it drinks fuel. But anyways, that's my daily driver now. 2000 Saab 95 wagon. You won't believe but looking at it, but she's got close to 200,000 miles on it. It's got the original tranny, original clutch, original motor. And it's a five speed. Can't beat that. But it's in reasonably good shape. There's some rust there. And some starting to bubble up there. And same thing on the other side. And of course, the freaking logo is coming off like every other one you see. But yeah, this one's a little bit worse, the hole there, but whatever. 200,000 miles, but I mean, the interior is pretty fucking. Everything works. And it gets 26 miles per gallon. Electronic climate control. It's got issues though. The uh, thing blows hot on one side. So I had to take apart the whole fucking thing and make it work again. It also only stays on the vent, but other than that, it works pretty good. The AC works. Uh, the two front windows don't go down because the track's all fucked. But everything else works. It's got heated seats. I mean, it's got 196,000 miles on it now. I got it in May, and I had 192 on it, and I've put a lot on it since. So far, it's been a pretty good car, but... Unfortunately, the turbo just quit working on it a few weeks ago, so I have no boost right now, so it drives fine, but it just doesn't have any balls. It's not very fast, like on the highway merging, it really struggles. But I mean, this car is pretty fucking ripped out, as you can see. Leather's mint. Interior is kind of taken apart. It's kind of a mess right now because I'm trying to fix a bunch of things at once on it. But I mean, runs good. But the reason why my neighbor didn't want to put any money into it 
DI cassette failed. That's a $400 item. So it is. I went to the junkyard and got one for 100 bucks. slapped it in, and it ran, pulled it in my driveway. And then that started having issues, that one. I think there's a small crack in it or something. It was arcing out, so I just went and bought one for $290 because I can get it for a discount. Oh, uh, that's been good. All I've had to do is put a new thermostat in it. I just placed all these vacuum hoses in an effort to get the turbo to work again. And, of course, it still isn't working. Probably needs a turbo. That's about 700 bucks. But other than that, she runs pretty good, and I like this car. And it's the only one in Massachusetts with an NRA sticker on it. <laughs> But not bad for free, huh? But anyways, I thought I'd just give you a little update on what's going on. Hopefully I'll have that Jeep all painted up and ready to go again. It's starting to rain again, so hopefully we can take it in the mud. Have some fun. Anyways, later tubers.